I want to tell you guys a story. This would have been an epic spot to do an intro or even an outro. I think I'm just gonna fly my drone here instead. Of the morning, flappy dappies. How you guys doing today? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're going to the snow. Ah! You guys excited back there for the snow? Yeah. yeah. The boys have never been to the snow. I haven't even put snow chains on the tires in about, I think I was like 19 the last time I put snow chains on tires. That seems like a long time, but I feel like that's the truth. Man, I'm ready. You ready, Beans? I'm excited. I just have to let everybody know that Brian just got passed on the right. It's unacceptable. <laughs> it's unacceptable. It's my uncle's fault. <laughs> You're so far behind him. It's because I'm funny. Oh, and you know what they're saying? Those idiots. They should be in the right lane. Daddy. Why don't you just pull over to the other side and then get in front of the car again. It's not about that, Noah. It's about the fact that I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> I am being the person that I despise. <laughs> Don't like and it. And what's the reason? Because you just weren't really paying attention? No, because I'm following him. I'm, no, because I'm following Uncle Scott and I'm like, I'm. he's not getting over, so I'm going to get over it anyway. <laughs> that has a tail that looks like a fake spider. Eli, look outside the window. There's snow. Eli, I didn't know there was snow. You slept <laughs> when we got to it. What do you think, Scrimmins? Cold. <laughs> this is the first time in the snow. Yeah. Jaden! <laughs> He'll figure out how cold he's going to be soon. <laughs> I'm stinking! So, I think we're supposed to have a parking spot, but we're just going to have to make one. First casualty. Dude, this is so freaking awesome, man. I'm so stoked for these kids, too. Now you have a big move. Try and make a little run where these guys can sled down.
I got so excited when we got here, I couldn't be bothered to put on any snow clothes. I'm wearing jeans still, and all soaking wet. Soaking wet from playing in the snow. I, I, way too much fun, way too much fun. Hi, Tay. Are you excited? Hi, <laughs> Tay's excited. Right, this is what I should have done when we first got here, but these socks, what I can't, you? these socks are amazing. They're, new. they're Yeah, they're new, they're wool, and they're just, I've never put on socks that felt as comfy as that. All right, let's do this the right way. What? Oh, you weren't even talking to me. You were talking to your camera. Yeah. Can you please get it off? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm trying to help. <laughs> Classic mood I coming inside for some hot cocoa. What's your favorite hot cocoa? Color? Blue. Hey, I like blue. Red is my favorite hot color, and you like blue ones. What's I'm so incredibly stoked for it to be snowing right now. Ah, so cool, man. I haven't been in the snow for a long time. I may have mentioned that already, but I just did the math and went back. It, it was actually snowboarding in Oregon was the last time I've been in the snow, which was almost 10 years ago now. Maybe a little bit more, actually. Which seems like a long time, because I used to go snowboarding every year. And it's interesting to me, my perspective on snow, because we're going to be up here for a couple days and we're just going to love it and just hang out and then leave. Whereas people that have to live in this kind of weather, I can only imagine the people are like, no. But that's one of the beauties of California is you can be anywhere you want to be within a few hundred miles. You know, we're less than that. We're here less than 200 miles from our home right now. And we can be in the snow. And we could be back at the ocean. We can go to the desert. It's the beauty of California, man. There's my truck. Dad's truck? Yep, that's our truck right there. I'm going clean. So I wanna share a story with you guys about one of my first memories in the snow. And I'd like you guys to also leave a comment down below of your favorite memory in the snow, or if you've ever been to the snow, but I'm gonna pin my favorite story down below. So please let me know about your favorite experience in the snow, or if you hate the snow, whatever it is, something related to snow and your experience. When I was about Eli's age, one of our first times in the snow, we were up at Pinecrest, and I'm crawling up this hill, and I'm fighting to get to the top of this hill. And, you know, because I'm, I'm tiny, I'm small, like Eli, and I finally get to the top, and right when I get to the top, my dad and my uncles are there waiting, and they pelt me with snowballs. And not just pelt me with snowballs, but it hits my solar plexus and knocks the wind out of me after I've already been winded climbing up this hill. And I just, I remember looking at them and being like, I can't believe you guys. You guys are supposed to be taking care of me. You're, you're destroying me. And I, I was thinking about maybe recreating that experience for Eli here, but to be fair, they didn't knock the wind out of me on purpose, and I don't, I don't want Eli to have a bad experience necessarily. He'll, he'll find his own bad experience on his own, I think, if he wants to. <laughs> but anyway, that's my first snow story. What's your guys? Hey, Eli, what do you know? I know. Snow. What about snow? That it's cold and I try not to leave. <laughs> I think I found a dino bone. Really? I did find it. <laughs> it's hot and it's a dino bone. The Eli's uncovering <laughs> Eli's uncovering undiscovered velociraptor bones here in the snow. It's a T-Rex I'm really happy with what's happened so far. The only thing that would make this the absolute perfect trip is if this snow clears up a little bit to where I can get my drone up in the air.
Dude, I just dunked this thing in the lake. <laughs> The sun has gone down. My heart is full. I didn't realize how much I missed the snow until I got back up here. It's been a beautiful time. And I think we're gonna have to try and do this more often than once every decade and a half. I wish you guys were here with us. Have yourselves a wonderful time, whatever it is you're doing.